Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a good Sunday morning, if that's when you're watching this. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I've done the makeup already, you can see this is the makeup. And yeah, I thought I would just film a little get ready with me and chat to you a bit about myself. <laughs> I thought I would just show you my everyday makeup whilst chatting to you a bit about myself and about my childhood and stuff and just do a little get to know me sort of video because I feel like there might be some people on here that don't really know me that well and might want to get to know me a bit more so yeah I thought I would just tell you a bit more about me whilst doing my makeup that's the video I hope you enjoy it if you do give it a thumbs up and get ready to see me without any makeup roll the clip right so I've clipped back my fringe ignore the little clips here <laughs> I have clipped back my fringe just I cannot do my makeup with my fringe in my face um I have a little mirror here so I'm just gonna be looking here I'm just gonna get started so I'm gonna start with SPF I've done my skincare um like my hyaluronic acid and my moisturizer and I'm gonna do my SPF now this is the ultra violet SPF 50 do a couple of pumps I'm not sure it smells amazing right so let's start off with some childhood things so I was born in Wales I was actually born on the kitchen floor of the house that we currently own we're actually selling it right now but I was born on the kitchen floor it was all planned <laughs> it was meant to happen that way but I was a huge baby I was actually 10 pounds so a really big baby and I actually got stuck so it was quite I think a scary birth and obviously we we're at home so there was only one midwife there but everything worked out fine but I got stuck and I basically when I was learning to walk um, was walking a bit funny because when I was born I was born like and my shoulders got stuck when I learned to walk then I wasn't able to like walk properly so I the doctors thought I might have to wear calipers because of how I was walking they didn't really know what to do um, so luckily my mum took me to an osteopath and they like sorted me out and luckily they fixed me and I was able to walk thanks to the osteopath or otherwise maybe I wouldn't have been a ballet dancer so super lucky so I started ballet then when I was three because I had older sisters doing it I just did it because my older sisters were doing it but I was really scared at the start so um, my sisters actually had to come in with me and like do it with me because I was so scared I was a really anxious child and I still really am really anxious now I'm a super anxious person and yeah they had to come in with me when I first started so thanks to them or I again wouldn't maybe be doing it I'm actually from a pretty big family there are seven of us in total I have six siblings from like my mum and dad separately before they um, were married and then they had children together as well so I have a lot of siblings but yeah I grew up in Wales and I actually learned to read and write in Welsh before I did in English because our school was super Welsh and like where I grew up it's really traditional to speak Welsh in schools and yeah I, I learned to read and write in Welsh before I did English so Welsh was my first language in school and we weren't allowed to speak English in school at all um, and then I spoke English at home with my family so yeah I grew up speaking Welsh fluently in school and did until I moved to an English secondary school when I was um, 12 I think and then I only spoke Welsh once in, in my Welsh lessons and then I spoke English the rest of the time I'm gonna leave all the products that I'm using in the description below so you can see if anyone wants to know what I'm using so I always kind of knew I wanted to do ballet it was always something that was like I'm gonna do it like I don't think I, I ever really had a moment where I was like oh okay this is what I want to do like I kind of always knew I was gonna do it which I think is obviously really lucky I know a lot of people don't figure out what they want to do until like really later in life so I know I'm really lucky in that but it was always just something like I knew I was going to do 
I knew I was going to go away to dance college at some point and hopefully I got in um, and I got into a dance school at 16 and then I had some family issues going on at home and I was just going through a really bad patch like with my anxiety and I was really like not ready to go so I didn't go when I was 16 and I postponed it until I was 17 and then I went when I was 17 even though I was still kind of like in, not in that best place and then this kind of whole situation when I went with when I was 17 to this school wasn't very positive I had a really bad experience at this school and I got a really bad injury when I was there and it wasn't a particularly good experience when I was six, when I was 17 so I left in the Easter I had a really bad injury anyway so I wasn't really dancing and yeah I left at Easter and luckily thank goodness LSC London Studio Centre still had a couple of auditions and I managed to get an audition there and then went to L London Studio Centre in the September so I was 18 at that point when I went to London Studio Centre but I didn't really like know anything about London Studio Centre I didn't like know anyone that had been there before me so it was kind of like a bit worried to go because I was kind of like oh it's like not a ballet school it's not going to be much ballet and I was kind of a bit wary about going but it was probably the best decision I've ever made to go there because I had the best time made the best friends and yeah I just loved it it was a great experience so I'm, I think that was probably the best decision ever to go there I mean I didn't really make it I was kind of just like they were like you either have to go to London Studio Centre or you have to like you can't there's no other option so it was either that or nothing and I'm glad that I did it even though it was that or nothing basically I usually just leave my eyes kind of plain I usually just put like a little bit of bronzer on I'm just gonna put a bit of this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on my eyes that's just what I usually do see I feel like you can't actually see what my makeup looks like Anyway, what random, let's think about some random facts that you might not know. So yeah, like I said, I'm a super anxious person. I always have been. Um, I think it was ingrained in me since birth. Like, I just am an anxious person. And that's something that I've always had to kind of fight. Yeah, it's something that I've just always had, that I've just had to deal with kind of growing up. Let's put a bit more blush on. This rose ink one is so cute. I think the Welsh upbringing is kind of something that's a bit unusual like we do a lot of singing in Wales clearly naturally um, and you do singing like you do ice therefords which are like um, kind of every year things where you do singing and acting and stuff and um, I did singing like you are um, forced to sing on your own from the age of like five until you leave primary school and you sing like on your own and do like reciting on your own every year until you leave um, primary school and some secondary schools do it as well so I like grew up having to sing and recite on my own which probably also increased my anxiety because that's so scary <laughs> to have to do on your own right I'm gonna do my eyebrows now don't really ever do anything to them I literally just like brush them up because they're they kind of just speak for themselves they're so big <laughs> so there's the eyebrows done i usually just brush them upwards so my family now live in brighton we used to come here and holiday like every summer growing up because we have family here and we always loved it and yeah we've decided to move so my sister went to sussex uni so we kind of were here a bit more and then i moved to london and yeah my mum just wanted to be closer to us and also always wanted to move here so yeah we are now here and my brother also went to a sixth form college here which was really good yeah we're here now and we're really happy here and we are in the process hopefully of buying a house here but we're selling our house in wales so that we can buy here because we're currently still renting and yeah that'll be a really fun experience i would love to document that when that happens but yeah that'll be super fun we also are still trying to find somewhere to live in london which has taken months we started looking at the start of june and it's now nearly the end of august but yeah i'm going to actually do a bit of brown liner i just like to thicken up the lash line with a bit of brown liner so yeah we now live here in brighton yeah we're selling our welsh house which is the house that i was born in on the floor in the kitchen so i grew up right next to the farm my dad owns a farm um, along with his sister and I grew up like 
feeding the cows and seeing like cows being born and feeding the sheep and all that sort of thing so so I kind of had the classic stereotypical farm upbringing which is I think pretty cool to say that I have grown up on a farm and like my early memories are like feeding like lambs with bottles and stuff in the farmhouse and just like I think that's pretty cool to say that I grew up on a farm. I have always been obsessed with stationery since like forever like always been obsessed with stationery which is kind of random maybe kind of weird but I've just always had an obsession with notebooks in particular I just have so many and like whenever there's an, an excuse for me to get a new one you best believe I'm getting a new one like there's always a huge pile of notebooks on my bedside table and I've always just loved like journaling I have journals from like when I was at school I've just like always had a passion for notebooks, stationery, journaling and I think it's really nice to look back on now that I have journals from like when I was super young and journals now and I think it's amazing to look back on. I used to also be obsessed with makeup. I still am pretty much pretty obsessed with makeup but I used to like spend my weekends like following makeup tutorials and just like doing like full on like cut creases and everything like on a Sunday where I literally wasn't going anywhere when I was like 13 um, because I was so obsessed with YouTube and following people's like makeup tutorials and stuff and I still am really obsessed with makeup. I'm a bit more into like minimal makeup these days like this is the most makeup really I do um, but yeah I used to be obsessed with doing like the full like wings and everything like and I think I got pretty good at it. I used to love it yeah that I think is pretty much it oh no I'm gonna do lips so I got actually a new lip product which I'm really excited to try so this has been trending on TikTok for so long and it was sold out for ages and I could not get my hands on it I've wanted it for so long it's the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm and mine's in the shade Haze I've seen people talking about this on TikTok and I wanted it so bad um it's like a glossy lipstick kind of thing and it looks so good so I'm going to try it now. Live on camera. This is kind of the colour. Try it now live on camera. Wow. Oh it's so minty. It feels so nice and minty. That is so nice. It's kind of like my lip colour but a bit more like glossy obviously. <laughs> oh it's so minty. It feels so nice on. So that is the makeup. So it's super natural, it's just what I usually do on the day to day. I'm going to sort out my fringe now. Let me show you what it looks like when I take these off. Okay, let's sort this out quickly. Right, so here's the fringe all sorted. And yeah, that's the video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found out something new about me and you feel like you know me a bit better now. And yeah. I'll link all the products down below if you want to see what I used and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!